deaths that has been reported in Miot Hospital has shocked uh, the entire state. Uh, ma joining me is a uh, uh, senior journalist, uh, Jaya Menon, uh, who is reporting for Times of India. Ma'am, you have been here since morning. What have you gathered from the hospital authorities? Is this a case of uh, sheer negligence? It's a river to the left side of the building, uh, beyond the EID Parry uh, building. Uh, there's a river running and because of the rain, it has breached, it has overflown and breached the wall, the side wall, entered the hospital premises and uh, water had gone down into the three levels of basement where the generators are kept and uh, reached up to the ground floor of the hospital. From 17 to 18, one died on the way and 16 or 17 would have died here. Okay, they were, they were all How many patients were rescued from this hospital? When there were totally 575 patients, which we have rescued in them and all that. Now there are some 60 patients are still there who are willing to continue the treatment over here. So we are continuing the treatment with there, all the available facilities now. If this compound wall would have not broken, nothing would have happened. We are uh, getting complaints from the affected person, relatives of the deceased. Then we'll register a case and investigate. And uh, the, com uh, the patients, the com uh, complainants have said that this is nothing but negligence. So that we have to see that. They are there in the police station, we have to get the complaint. The investigation, the preliminary investigation is completed. Then we'll come to know whether uh, uh, is this a case of negligence or uh, it's just a tragedy. But uh, clearly this has shocked uh, the people of Chennai. When uh, the situation was uh, going out of control, uh, what did the doctors do? And what did the hospital management do? Why they were not uh, able to alert uh, uh, the agencies, uh, the rescue teams uh, uh, in advance is the question that is being asked by many. In Chennai with camera person Manish Thanani, Shabir Ahmad for Times Now.